Today, I'm going to show you all the problems I had converting this old Velosport steel bike into a single speed. And keep watching for pro tips. Basically, I'm just going to inspect this frame here, and it has a 68mm BB shell. Most importantly is the rear dropout, so they should be 126mm spacing. There's the cable guide, so I'm going to have a fix for that. There's the front wheel fit. It's designed for 95mm 27 inch wheels. Just take a peek at the, the donor bike. So it has 622 millimeter wheels. It has longer reach brakes. It also seems to have a an off dish front wheel. <laughs> and the wheels are bolt on. <laughs> and I found somebody used the uh, spoke nipples as cable ends. Pro tip. Okay, here's a pro tip for you. To remove the front brake, just take out the wheel, secure the bolt in the back, and just use the caliper to spin it right off. There's no point in trying to twist your wrist and everything trying to unscrew the uh, the bolt. Just use the caliper. And make sure you keep all the pieces because we're going to need them later. The, the rear flip-flop wheel is uh, bolt-on, and that just slides out. And just to be neat, I tend to just put it, put the chain in the dropout. Just gonna use the same trick on the rear just just remove the wheel and spin off the caliper and make sure that you keep the parts so we're gonna break the chain because there's no quick link or anything here i ran into a problem here sometimes i do this i don't push the pin through enough here's how you uh, fix that pro tip just put the uh, the link back into the chain tool and very carefully push the pin out just a little bit more pro tip and right into another pro tip so we're going to take off the pedals and we just use the crank. Just spin the crank in the opposite direction of the rotation of the pedals and off they come. Pro tip. And another pro tip. <laughs> okay, so to remove the, the crank bolt, just uh, spin the crank and it'll come right off. You don't need to use your wrist here. We do things the easy way. Work hard, not smart. And now we'll just remove the, uh, the crank. And again, don't work hard. Use the leverage that's there. So we measured off the bottom bracket and it was 120 millimeters, which is way off for proper chain line. So somebody didn't build this correctly. <laughs> I tested the bearings that are garbage. And we'll just continue taking the, the rest of the stuff off. No big deal. We'll check the headset bearings and they're, they're just, they're crap. <laughs> okay, so here's some highlights for the conversion start with a pro tip. What we do is we use the rear derailleur barrel adjusters as cable stops and what that'll do is it'll improve braking on the uh, bike. Well, I had this old caliper. It gives a, a four millimeter drop so it's long enough to convert the wheel to 622 from 27. I just lightly bent the, uh, the fork drops and it fit right in. So I moved the chain ring to the inner position, made sure the chain is back at an appropriate length, and I used a 108 millimeter bottom bracket to get that perfect chain line. And there was a problem. The rear spacing was 128 millimeters, so I had to use some extra spacers. And to get the chain line, what I had to do is move the wheel over to the drive side. So we had to put extra spacers on the non-drive side and then dish the wheel over to the non-drive side. This resulted in a perfect chain line. It spins nice and smoothly, and that brings us to the, the rear brake. But you can see it's not one of those old brakes, it's the brake from the donor bike, and this created a problem. <laughs> the braking works perfectly fine. Unfortunately, the reach wasn't long enough, so pro tip. into another pro tip, I had to DIY a brake drop bracket. So I used two brackets, and I reused the hardware from the uh, donor brake, and what it did is it perfectly dropped four millimeters, and the brake fits perfectly fine. What you have to do is find brackets that are four, that have two holes that are four millimeters apart, which I just happened to lock into, but I think you can do it with uh, reflector brackets. Now, one of the problems with this uh, DIY uh, bracket system here, brake drop, is that the braking moves the brackets to the opposite side and then it moves the uh, caliper. So my fix here is to just use a uh, cable tie to hold it in place. And believe it or not, it actually works. <laughs> Here's the conversion complete. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helps you out if you ever run into these problems. And uh, if you want to see me convert another bike, you can click right here.